what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? On July 8th, Yuma police responded to a report of a man and a woman coughing on Walmart employees. Purposely. Walmart trespassed the two, meaning they wanted them to leave, but they did not go down without a fight. Frank Montoya was confrontational after police tried to stop him and Victoria Coranza from leaving. Police said Montoya tried to flee and fought with police who were trying to detain him. Carranza also tried to interfere with the officers, police said. Both were booked into the Yuma County Adult Detention Facility, according to inmate records. Montoya was charged with, get this family, resisting arrest, aggravated assault of an officer, disorderly conduct for fighting, and criminal trespass. Carranza was charged with criminal trespass, hindering prosecution, resisting arrest, disorderly conduct for fighting, aggravated assault against a police officer, and being a damn fool. <laughs> Had to throw that in. Because you got to be a damn fool to be sitting up there trying to fight a police officer because they're trying to detain you because you were going around just indiscriminately coughing on folks in the middle of a pandemic. What the hell is wrong with folks, fam? The Department of Justice said in a March letter that COVID-19 appears to meet the statutory definition of a biological agent and that anyone who purposely tries to infect another person could be charged with terrorism. I like that. I like it. In fact, I love it. Book them, Dano. Why can't people just follow the rules and be civil? I mean, just put your mask on and go on about your day. You have first responders who have to wear a mask 16 hours a day. I understand that damn thing can be uncomfortable. But 16 hours a day, these people are required to wear a mask. And you crying about 15, 20 minutes? Come on, fam. What was it? Perhaps they didn't want to wear the mask because they couldn't use the meth with it on. What is it, fam? We have some disturbed people in the United States. This is where this is going on. I'm really not seeing it going on anywhere else. This is happening in the U.S. where people are supposed to be smart. I don't know what the law is like in Yuma, Arizona, but I know in Houston, Texas, where I live, signs that say no shirt no shoes, no service seems to work. Simple. Like, you never see anybody standing outside of a business with no shoes or shirt on and screaming and fighting, talking about, I'm coming in. I don't want to wear a shirt. I don't want to wear shoes, and I'm still coming in. I've never seen that before. I've been here all my life. You see all of these people raising hell about wearing masks. I'm sick of these hearing any stories, man. I'm sick of these stories. I'm down for us just catapulting all of their asses into the sea. Or perhaps creating a giant slingshot and thrusting them into a wall, a concrete wall. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. I couldn't have been those workers. Uh-uh. Walmart don't pay that much. Even if Walmart paid $10 million a day, I couldn't be that worker. I know some of y'all saying, she didn't give me 10 million. See, I got principles, baby. 
I got principles, man. And ain't no amount of money would make me allow somebody to disrespect me like that, to insult me like that. I couldn't do it. I suspect that my natural instinct would be to beat them to a pulp until I was no longer irritated. But what say you, fam? Put yourself in the shoes of the workers and tell me what you would have done. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.